One of several peculiar features of quantum physics is the fact that if you look at it, the act of observation tampers with it, and it therefore alters the outcome. So part of every quantum experiment is actually to learn how to not look at the system. You can look at it, but it'll change it. And it'll change it such that it does exactly what we anticipate in the classical world. So in that vein, I place a blindfold over Schrodinger's cat here as not to modify the outcomes. And once again, now I ask the cat to throw that quantum ball, and what's going to happen? So the ball will bounce back to the cat, but it'll do something else. The ball bounces back to the cat and also through the wall. The act of the ball going through the wall is referred to as quantum tunneling, and that's peculiar. The fact is, I didn't say it does one or the other with some probability. I said it does both, concurrently, simultaneously, and that's called quantum non-locality, and that's very strange very strange. And so perhaps some of you will protest again because I did tell you that this is the physics of our world. Quantum theory is the physics of our world. Why then does this seem so peculiar?